Abu Dhabi Dude! Hi there, this is Abu Dhabi Dude! Welcome back! And uh, we're off today on a public charging adventure. Um, now, it's a, it's a slightly convoluted and complicated one this time. Well, it's not, it's a simple charging adventure video. Uh, in line with the rest of the series, but today's is Ecotricity! Dun dun dun! Now, um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I felt the need to do that. Uh, now, the reason behind it, why I say it's complicated or convoluted, is partially because um, it relates to another video I've done, okay? So, I did a road trip recently. Um, which involved a lot of ecotricity charging. Now, when I did it, I planned all sorts of backups because of the well-publicized issues that exist with ecotricity chargers. And I was convinced they weren't gonna work. Anyway, I won't ruin the video by breaking down the details of it, but suffice to say, I'm, I'm a total convert to ecotricity now. So, today, I'm going to do ecotricity. Now, you haven't seen that road trip video yet because of the magic of television and time travel. Um, I've recorded it, but I haven't yet edited it. So this one will almost definitely come out first. Um, so, hence the reason I say slightly convoluted. Um, so yeah, today I'm gonna go to an ecotricity. I'm just stopping off. I'm going past it anyway uh, for something else. But I thought, why not stop off and then rather than, you know, because partly the purpose of this series, the public charging adventures, is so that people with eye paces can just search for and instantly find a video showing a charging network they're either having problems with or, um, or they want to know about that they haven't used yet, but they're planning to use it, they want to see how to use it. Um, you know, so... For that reason, I've, uh, I'm stopping off anyway, even though I don't need the charge. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm going to be arriving probably with an excess of 80% state of charge. Um, certainly a very healthy state of charge. I don't need the charge. But it's purely, as I say, my dedication to consumer advice on this channel. Um, I'm just going to stop. Uh, to do this video so that anybody who's interested can see Ecotricity. Hopefully, now I don't want to speak too soon, because I've never used this particular charger. Um, it's the one at uh, Gretna. Um, but I've never used this particular charger, but hopefully I'll be able to show people that are worried about using Ecotricity, because I read a lot of people in the forums saying, oh, I don't even bother. I plan all my routes to avoid them. And even if it means going off the motorway for, for 10 minutes, I'll, I'll avoid them. And that's not been my experience. My experience is it's been great. And, you know, it, it can save you significant time. If ecotricity works, it can save you, you know, if you make two charging stops on a long journey, if if that Instavolt or BP or whatever would take you, you know, would add 15 minutes total to your route, you know, off the motorway to the charger, back to the motorway, you know, that means you're gonna get there half an hour later than you would have if you could use Ecotricity. So, today I'm gonna to show you, hopefully, that Ecotricity is nothing to be scared of. Um, certainly for me, it's been, so far, touch wood, of, you know, Ecotricity, good. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes today. As I say, it's at Gretna, um, which is down on the uh, Scottish border, just on the Scottish side of the Scotland-England border. Um, so we're going to head there, try and charge, see how it goes. Um, I'm not expecting problems, but you never know with these charging adventures. That's why they're called charging adventures. Uh, if it's anything like my other Ecotricity experiences, um, it'll be a fairly good experience today. If not, then there'll be a lot of people saying, see, I told you so in the comments down below. Uh, so anyway, we will get there in the uh, 
not do this in future. Uh, how far away are we from it? Uh, about 40 miles, so yeah, we're probably about 30 minutes, 40 minutes away from, from the charger. Not that that matters to you, because you won't be sitting here for 30 or 40 minutes waiting for it to come up, because magic of television again, boom, we'll be there. Not yet, though. Um, so, so yeah, we're, uh, I say, that, that's the plan for this trip, is just a quick zap and dash. As I say, my state of charge is going to be pretty high, so I'm only going to add probably maximum 10%, but I'll add as much as I can without sitting there forever, um, just to show you, uh, hopefully, how painless it is. Um, so yeah, as I say, I hope I haven't bigged this one up too much too early. Um, but time will tell. As I say, I'll be uh, I'll cut in some screenshots of me using the app as well because you have to start Ecotricity with the app unless there's a problem. If if it's got no comms and it's on free vend, then you can start it straight from the charger without using the app. But if you need to pay, which should be the case, you have to use the app. So I'll record my uh, screen as I as I start it on the app. And then I'll, uh, yeah, and then I'll, I'll show you me using the charger as well. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, as I say, fingers crossed it'll be as good as I'm anticipating. Um, but if not, well, it's a learning curve for all of us, isn't it? So in the meantime, I will sit back, relax, and enjoy the drive. It's a bit of a boring chuck down the motorway, but. Nothing's boring in the I-Pace. I've got all my driver assist features on. I've got my uh, adaptive cruise, my steer cruise assist, or cruise steer assist, sorry. Um, and yeah, the car's taken the load as ever. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you when we are at Ecotricity. See you in a bit. Okay, we have arrived at Ecotricity, timed it well, kindly gentleman in a Nissan Leaf was literally, oops, switched the car off, the kindly gentleman in a Nissan Leaf was literally just departing, so that's worked out well, he was using the one that had the CCS adapter, so let's have a look, there's the charging screen, uh, now in the app, I guess I scan, scan the pump's code. There we go. You at Gretna Green Services? Yes I am. I want CCS. Continue. Energy price, oh that's a bit expensive one. 
Yep, I want to pay with that card. I will blank that out because you're not seeing it. Okay, payment details confirmed. Now the screen should change. And it does. Connect your car. So if I grab the CCS, get my car hooked up. Again, I apologise that this is a bit shakier than usual. Oops, but there we go. Car is connected. Initialization. Isolation, pre-charging. As I say, there we go, charging. And if we switch to the car, quickly oh you missed it but there was a green light there as you can see like I said we're at 80% but we're charging at 432 volts 100 amps so about 43 yeah about 43 kilowatts okay so there you go um, that's how simple ecotricity is I mean they get a lot of bad press and I do not think it's deserved in my personal experience like I say this is not the first one I've used, um, although it's the first one you've seen me use on the channel. But if you stick around, if you click subscribe and the little bell icon, uh, there's a road trip video coming which contains a lot more of these. Um, and in total, I've used them. Um, well, I've used this is, I think, the sixth different ecotricity I've tried now. Um, and. I saw an interview with Dale, the uh, founder of Ecotricity, it must have been about five, six weeks ago now, who said, we're upgrading all our chargers, we know they've had problems with newer uh, EVs, like the I-Pace, um, I'm not sure if the e-tron struggles as well, but, you know, he acknowledged it, and he said, all our chargers are in the process of being updated, it will be done, they will all have been done within two to three weeks, and then you shouldn't have any problems. And I have to say that since then, you know, hats off to the guy. He's acknowledged the issue and he's dealt with it. But since then, you know, despite still reading people saying they're having trouble, I've just, it's been like that every time I've used it pretty much. Um, the only thing I'll say is once I struggled to start it using the app, and then I pressed, if you look underneath the charger, there's a little red or a big red emergency stop button if you're having issues if you press that button and go through the reset process that it tells you about um, it will reboot the charger and that was the only issue I've ever had was that it needed to be rebooted and then as soon as it had rebooted I went through the same process you've just seen and it worked exactly as flawlessly as you've just seen so if you're having problems try that reboot it really does uh, solve a lot of problems for chargers in general so if you're ever having charging problems give that a go it's always worth a try um, but yeah as I say they get a lot of bad press and I just it's not been my experience I every time I've used them I've got 42 43 kilowatts out of it which is I believe what they're rated for they're not 50 kilowatt chargers I think they are 42 or 43 maybe 44 kilowatt chargers um, and that's what I get. So, you know, all these horror stories of it won't start, never experienced it. It, you know, it starts and then stops, never experienced that. It starts, but it only gives me 22 kilowatts, never experienced that. So if you're planning a road trip and you're thinking of avoiding ecotricity, I wouldn't necessarily say that's the way to go. Um... But we'll talk about that more in the little roundup I'll do on the way home now. But there you go. Ecotricity plugged in. Oh, the Tesla just arrived at the supercharger next to me, a Model X, with the uh, Falcon Wing doors open. If you can just see that. They are cool, those doors. But yeah, there we go. We're at 86% already. Um, but yeah, I'll get up on the way. And, uh, and that'll be it for this one. That's us uh, completed the charge, 10% added, uh, so we got to 90%. Um, yeah, not much more to say. Stop it using the app, as you can see, 
just run through that process quickly. Uh, stop session early. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Okay. And then you can see it gives you a little uh, roundup. It gives you a, a you know, a, a charge. That's the word. A bill. That's the word. It tells you how much you've just spent. So two pounds seventy-one for ten percent means that let's say an eighty percent charge then would be eight times that. What about twenty-two quid? Twenty-one, twenty-two quid. That's not bad going. Okay, so I just uh, unlock the car, grab the uh, cable. Oops. Put it back on the slot at the side, and now you can see it. So there you go, Ecotricity. How simple was that? Absolutely simple. Arrived at the charger, fired up the app, plugged in, charged, and went. It really doesn't get any easier, you know? And for people who are suggesting that I was just lucky, that has been my experience every time. I have had uh, well, I've, that's I think the sixth Ecotricity charger that I've used now, and I've never had an issue. Once I had to reboot it, once I couldn't get the app to start the charge. Nothing was wrong with the charger. It was saying it was in, it was receiving comms and everything. It was connected, so it should have been fine. But the app wouldn't start the process. So I rebooted the charger with that emergency start button I showed you. It's about a thirty-second process. It's really quite much quicker than the. Uh, Evo charger reboot process um, and then once it rebooted it fired up and I started it with the app first time and it was as simple as that that's the closest I've come to having a problem with an Ecotricity charger um, you know it, it was simple it, so every time I've plugged in and like I say that was the sixth one that I've used and on two of the ones I used I restarted the session because it, it got to the time limit so on a couple of times I've, I've actually charged a second time on that charger so in total now I've done eight charging sessions across six different Ecotricity chargers and never had an issue um, and now uh, when I'm talking to people on the forums and they're they're going on about it I can point them to this video um, so yeah, if, if you're planning a long distance route, I would not hesitate to recommend including an Ecotricity in your plan. I mean, the one thing I'll say is, and this applies not just to Ecotricity, is always have a backup. If you go into somewhere like an Instavolt, they've got two stalls at every Instavolt, and that in general is a good backup, because they're that reliable. You know, but if you go into a charging site with one charger, don't ever arrive there with 1% state of charge because you're asking for trouble. You know, look at your map, a better route planner or zap map or plug share um, and have a look at it and see. Tell me. You know, tell me? Why tell me? Don't tell me. Just have a look at it and see. Um, you know, plan for an ecotricity and then look at further down the route to see if there's a backup charger available, an Instavolt or a Polar or a Shell or, a, you know, I keep saying Instavolt Polar, it's just because I know they work. Uh, but, you know, and arrange to arrive at your Ecotricity charger with enough state of charge to still get to your backup. And I would say the same if you were arriving at a Polar charger. Have enough of a charge to get to an Instavolt or a different Polar or an Ecotricity or whatever but do not ever on the public charging network cut it that fine unless you're going to a charging site that's a big multi-hub charging site uh, then you could arrive there you know with a low state of charge quite safely I would suggest but other than that if you're going to these Ecotricity ones in particular which only have one charger at each site then you know have a backup available have a backup in mind and it's not to slag off ecotricity i would say the same for anybody with one charger don't rely on it all you need is for the power to be out at the site 
you know, it's not even an I-Pace thing, it's an any EV thing. Plug in sooner than that. I would recommend planning to get to a charger with somewhere between 10 and 20% for that purpose. Um, but as I say, that's not ecotricity specific, that's a generic statement. Um, because then you should have enough range to get to another charger if you can't charge on it for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, as I say, that's my Ecotricity experiences. That's a, today has been a, an absolutely standard example. It was not a standout charging session. It was exactly how every Ecotricity charger I've, I've had has gone. So yeah, don't bulk at it. If they're on your route, use them. Um, yeah, have a backup in mind, but don't be scared of them. I have had a lot of success. I've, well, I've had I've had zero failures. Let's put it that way. It's not just I've had a lot of success. I have not failed to charge at an Ecotricity once in my iBase. Think about that. So there you go. Uh, that's Ecotricity. Um, it's painless it's competitively priced it's a decent charging rate um, I'd like to see them start to up the number of chargers and the speed of their chargers in all honesty I'd like to start to see them I'd like to see them start to introduce maybe 100 150 kilowatt chargers and start adding them to their sites because um, as I say at that little site when I pulled in uh, as you may have seen there was each charger had a Nissan Leaf on it. Now, luckily, the one I needed, the, the, the CCS equipped one, the guy had just finished. I had a little chat to him, nice guy, um, but he had literally just finished. So I managed to plug in with zero delay. But they are getting quite busy. Um, so I'd like to see them add more stalls and I'd like to see them add faster stalls now. You know, 42, 43 kilowatts is, you know, they've been there a while, so they were way ahead of the game when they added those. Um, but for today's cars, today's EVs, I, I think we we starting to get to the point where we we kind of need faster ones now. So I'd like to see Ecotricity add more. It would be a struggle there because uh, right next to that, the right hand charger is where the Tesla chargers start. Um, and again, there was two Model Xs on those Tesla superchargers. I mean, there's still four empty stalls. I think it had six there. If it wasn't six it was eight but I think it was six you know and only two of those were occupied but you're um, yeah was two Model X's if you saw that on the dash cam as we drove out rare car um, but two of them charging up there um, so yeah we we're getting to a point I think in the EV adoption curve where Ecotricity are gonna have to start thinking at least about adding more charges um, and if they add faster ones that will reduce the occupancy time, which will mean, you know, like somebody doing a long charge on one of those chargers is going to be there, well, for 45 minutes, then it will time out. Then it's quite possible that they're going to want to restart the session. You know, if they've done 45 minutes, they might only, you know, they might only have added um, a 50% charge on on. You know, an iPace, an e-tron, a Mercedes EQC. You know, so they might want to restart it. So the occupancy time is high. So if they added faster chargers, the turnaround time would be quicker. A few more stalls, and suddenly you're looking at a turnover of more cars in a shorter time. You know, so if you doubled that to four stalls, added for the two new ones, added high-speed ones. You know, you get into a point where it's, you know, you. you got a better throughput of vehicles that you can sustain on those chargers um, two at the moment is starting to get tight especially if you've got a CCS car only one of those two chargers is going to be CCS equipped because all the ecotricity sites have got one Chadimo only well Chadimo and AC only on on one of their chargers because if you look you can always see it because it's got the Nissan logo at the top of the charger those ones were part funded by Nissan uh, to promote the LEAF and to, you know, to promote a network, of an infrastructure network that would support the LEAF. 
So that charger has only got AC and charger mode. So you need to find a site that's got two chargers if you're CCS equipped. The second charger will have CCS. Now a lot of this on Leaf drivers don't even realise this and you know, so don't take this as being me having a go at Nissan Leaf drivers, that's not the way this is intended. But quite often, you can come up to those chargers and find that the right, you know, the Chadamo only one is empty and there's a Nissan Leaf plugged in on the one that's got CCS. Because they don't realise, there's no big sign saying, you know, if possible use the, use the Chadamo charger. You know, if you're not a CCS vehicle, please use this one, unless it's occupied, something like that. Um, so without realising, really, they're going to plug into that charger. So, yeah, it would be nice to see more chargers now. I think we're at that point in the, the adoption curve where um, we do need to see more stalls. But other than that, you know, and having said that, I've never had to wait for one. Not ever, I've always driven up. Today was the closest I've come to waiting. And I didn't, you know, I drove up and he was literally just unplugging, he was just finishing. So, you know, although I'm saying it, it's becoming necessary, I've never had to wait yet. But I think, I can see that we're at the point where that's coming, if you see what I mean. Like, I'm getting to the point where you're seeing both stalls occupied, both charges occupied. Um, and I guess we kind of ideally want to always be at a point where there's one stall empty, so anybody can just drive up and plug in. Um, yeah, so... That's a minor niggle, but it's something that does need to be addressed, because sometimes they can take quite a, quite a while to install and commission. Um, but yeah, other than that, I have no problems at all recommending Ecotricity. Use them, try them, give them a go. Always have a backup, but that applies to any charger, unless it's a multi-stall charging location. Other than that, always, always have a backup. Trust me, you will thank me someday for that advice, if you hadn't realised it before now. Um, but yeah, I, as I say, I've, I would never hesitate to stop. I actually was a little bit nervous about that one, because I thought um, it's a bit of an older site. It's, you know, Gretna, I'm not sure if that's one of their major uh, sites for usage. Although, as it turns out, it was. You know, it was quite busy. But I thought maybe that one wouldn't have been updated. Maybe they've skipped it. Maybe they've left it till the end and haven't quite got around to it. Um, I don't know if that's the case or not. But whether it's been updated or not, it worked. Um, and it worked painlessly and first time. Um, you know, those ecotricities are even more painless for me. If you look at some of my new Evolt charging videos, whether it's road trips or, or whatever, um, I've quite often taken a few attempts to start them. And it's been a bit of a process still. They always work. Those new Evolts always, always work. But sometimes a bit of a process. Ecotricity with older chargers, but they have been updated recently, allegedly, though there's nothing to specifically tell you that that's the case, but I'm going by what Dale said in that interview. You know, they've been updated, they've been, uh, the firmware has been improved, but they are older machines, and I have had less issues with them, despite all the bad publicity that they've had. I've had zero issues, really, compared to even the new style Evolts, which which still take a few attempts sometimes to charge. Don't get me wrong, I'm not having a dig at the new style Evos, they're great, I have 100% success on them, just sometimes there's a bit of a process to get it going. But in general, absolutely no issues with them, they're, you know, they are they are 100% successful for me, I've used them, I've, I've lost track now, I think about eight times now, and never failed. But, Ecotricity's been so much easier. And I never would have thought that would be the case going into these videos. I always thought I would have problems with Ecotricity, and I don't. So they come hugely recommended. They come with the Abu Dhabi Dude seal of approval. That's a thing I've just made up, by the way. It's not a real thing. But 
I wholeheartedly approve of them. If you go on a road trip, on the motorways, there's ecotricity on your route, try them. I really can't recommend them highly enough. Just try them. Give them a go. See how you get on. Uh, sorry, I'm doing a lot of pointing there. But give them a go and see how you get on. Uh, for me, I've got a wide range of them now that I've used and everyone's been flawless. So now, I would not hesitate to plan a road trip with an Ecotricity charging stop in there. Wouldn't even think twice about it. Um, so there you go. Let me know what you think. I know I'm going to get loads of people in the comments down below saying, Oh, well, I've never had any success. Some of those will be older experiences. Bear in mind, this update has only happened within the last few weeks. So anything going back before, uh, let's say, the middle of August, um, doesn't count, to be honest. Okay? But have you had more recent attempts? Has anybody tried them recently and failed? That's what I want to know. Um, there's a few people on the forum saying yes, but I don't know how recently that is. How have you got on? Leave me some comments, leave me some feedback. I can genuinely say they've been flawless for me, absolutely flawless. But I know there are people out there that don't have that experience and I don't know why that is. So leave me some comments down below, let me know how you've got on. If you're anywhere near an ecotricity even, go and give it a go. Plug it in, give it a go for a 10 minute charge just to see how you do and let me know um, so yeah I guess all that remains now is for me to enjoy the drive home um, for me to say if you've enjoyed the video click on the thumbs up it's hugely helpful to the channel if, uh, if you're liking the channel and you haven't done so already then please subscribe uh, that's also hugely beneficial it's nice to see people clicking on that button um, and if you do subscribe, click on the little bell icon and YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video and you won't miss anything going forward. Um, if you do want to subscribe, you can do that right now by clicking on my ugly face over there. And please don't forget to check out these other videos on my channel like this one up here. Till next time, this is Abadabi Dude saying so long, take care, see you soon. Bye. Abba Dabby Dude!